Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking all about Edie Sedgwick. I'm going to be talking about some of her favorite beauty products as well as her favorite perfume. And I'm also going to talk about her fashion and how I created a mini capsule wardrobe inspired by her. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a place where I talk about all things vintage fashion and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, if you're not already, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I created a brand new account for this channel and I'd love it if you guys could come over there and follow me and say hello. I've been getting lots of messages from you and it's making me so happy. So please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk all about Edie Sedgwick. So, I, so when the movie Factory Girl came out, I believe it was in 2006, I was really into that movie and became a little bit obsessed with Edie Sedgwick and I wanted to learn more about her. I also went to art school, so I studied Andy Warhol when I was in art school and learned all about the pop art scene in the 1960s. So this movie was extra interesting to me and I kind of just wanted to learn more about Edie Sedgwick and how she came to be and her style. So Edie Sedgwick was born in 1943 and died tragically at the age of 28 in 1971 from a drug overdose. She came from old money. She came from a very wealthy New England family and she moved to New York to kind of become an artist, an actress, and a fashion model and was kind of in the socialite New York scene in the 60s. And she was kind of, she became Andy Warhol's muse in the 1960s and kind of became known as the girl of the year in 1965 and the it girl by Vogue magazine and she was in a lot of Andy Warhol's experimental movies during this time period but she never actually got compensated for any of this so she kind of blew through her trust fund I believe it was $80,000 and I think she blew through it only in a few months um, so yeah she had all this money and she blew through her trust fund and it seemed like based on the movie Factory Girl like Andy Warhol was almost using her for her money and then her parents cut her off from her inheritance once she kind of blew through everything and once they realized she was doing drugs and kind of involved in a scene they didn't want to support. So one of the movies she was in was called Poor Little Rich Girl and in 1965 they kind of named her the Youth Quaker based on this movie and she also dated Bob Dylan. In the movie Factory Girl you can see her, she hanging out with Bob Dylan and Apparently, there are a few songs by Bob Dylan that have to do with Edie Sedgwick. One of the songs is Just Like a Woman, and the other song is Leopard Skin Pillbox Hat. I always wondered what would have happened if she ended up being with Bob Dylan and kind of walked away from Andy Warhol and the drug scene. There was a scene in the movie where Bob Dylan basically gave her choice to either come with him or stay. She chose to stay, and it kind of made me really frustrated because, I don't know, I just would have liked to see her live happily ever after. So she kind of embodied the freewheeling 1960s look. With her fashion, it was very unique. She liked to layer fur over like oversized t-shirt and striped tops. She would always wear tights and leggings. So she would always wear these like oversized shirts that were almost like really short dresses and then she'd layer it with leotards and leggings. She had a very like poised thin dancer's body. She would always have these massive chandelier earrings with all her outfits and then really exaggerated mod eye makeup where she kind of exaggerated the eyes with eyelashes, kind of similar to Twiggy in her eye makeup. And she kind of, her style centered around like night out dressing and partying. She loved leotards and tights like I mentioned and her style was referenced to as the youth quake fashion scene of the 1960s. I found a whole bunch of outfits that look like something Edie Sedgwick would have worn. Oh, some of them are vintage, some of them are new. I linked them all below so you can shop them and see which ones you like. But I thought it was fun to kind of take photos of her and kind of look for things that I think she would have worn or outfits that are inspired by her. But first things first, I'm going to talk about her favorite beauty products and her perfume. Like many other old Hollywood movie stars, they all seem to love Erno Laszlo, and Edie Sedgwick also was obsessed with Erno Laszlo. 
Um, apparently, she had Irma Laszlo like spilling out of her purses. It was scattered all around her messy apartment. She was obsessed with Erno Laszlo. And when Sienna Miller found this out, she played Edie Sedgwick in Factory Girl. She apparently went to Saks Fifth Avenue and bought a whole bought bunch of Erno Laszlo products to like study for her role. So yeah, she Edie was obsessed with Erno Laszlo. She had all of the products. One of the main ones that she used was the Formula 39 cream, which was very popular among many other famous movie stars. She also loved the Timeless um, Skin Serum, and this was also very popular, the Light Controlling Lotion, as well as the Detoxifying Cleansing Oil, and then the Sea Mud Clay Cleansing Bar, which are all kind of classic Erno Laszlo products that were available at the time and then she also loved the Formula 39 Eye Repair. So these are all products that were around in the 1960s and that she used personally. And for perfume, she loved fracas. Um, a lot of movie stars actually wore fracas. I'm starting to realize it was a very popular fragrance and this was her go-to fragrance. I quite like it too. I mentioned before in other videos, it's very pretty and it, I don't know, kind of embodies a 1960s scent to it. And Fracas was launched in 1948. Um, it's an intoxicating Parisian fragrance. Um, it's very glamorous and provocative, so I can just, um, and very feminine and sexy at the same time, so I can see why she would like that. And let's move into her fashion and talk a bit about that. So I have this bag that just reminded me of something she would wear. It's really fun. It kind of has that 1960s shape to it. I really like the like glittery leather. This is a Toast bag, T-O-U-S. Honestly, I know I butcher pronunciation, so if I'm saying that wrong, my apologies. But I really love this bag. I just think it's really fun and funky, and it just looks like something she would wear in the factory, hanging out with Andy Warhol. So this is the first item that I chose for this lookbook because so I can just picture her wearing this bag. I also have two pairs of shoes. These gold brocade ones are authentic 1960s shoes. I just think they're really fun and I can picture her wearing them with her leotard leggings and kind of an oversized top so I chose those shoes. I also noticed that she wore a lot of black Mary Janes. I could also see her wearing these velvet ones from Mod Club. I think they're really fun. Kind of like have that 1960s vibe to them. I noticed in a lot of photos she wore a leopard print coat. Um, I think it was almost like a staple in her wardrobe. So I have this beautiful leopard print faux coat I got from ASOS, but I linked a bunch of different options below and this was kind of a staple in her wardrobe. And I found a few dresses from Sheen. This one just looked like something Edie Cedric would wear with the black and white mod look. It has that like shorter crop 1960s look. And I just love the like bold difference between the black and the white. This fabric was also popular in the 60s. Also the collar just reminds me of something she would wear. So this is a first dress. I also linked that one below. And I thought this dress was fun. This is like a dress, I this is called Edie Goes to Hollywood. It's a dress I can imagine her wearing if she went to California maybe spending the weekends at the Hamptons or something like that. I just think the print is really fun and kind of looks like a 1960s. It almost reminds me of Andy Warhol painting as well, with the graphic print. So I thought this was a fun addition and just kind of wanted to include that. Edie also wore a lot of turtlenecks. I saw her in a lot of striped turtlenecks, black turtlenecks. Almost looked like kind of like a dancer's outfit. So I included this ribbed striped turtleneck just as like a classic Edie turtleneck. And I can see her wearing this with a skirt or her leggings. I created a mini lookbook so you can see how I styled everything and kind of how I put the outfits together.
much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which look is your favorite in the comments below. And if you've seen Factory Girl, I would be really curious. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!